Fallout New Vegas is a cult classic released back in the ancient time of 2010, set in the Fallout universe but made by people who make good games. We are not talking about it today, rather we will be praising its successor, the mod Fallout New Vegas, The Frontier, a labor of love by the series' most talented fans, a true masterpiece. I suppose this is unusual for me. Reviewing a mod for a game instead of the game itself, it's like reviewing a celebrity impersonator instead of the celebrity, however I believe some performances exceed the original. You should see my Bill Cosby, twice the end bombs with none of the rapes. Anyway, what is so special about this new frontier I'm glad you asked you dirty little sex ghoul it took seven years to make and will give over 30 hours of badass, balls to the wall, pedal to the metal, pure action and sexual intercourse, blimey I'm sold, and horny. Wait, this Fallout game has sex slaves? Mr. Todd Howard, please hire these people right now. Imagine every Call of Duty plus Dead Space plus pornography. Blowjobs cost five caps. I'm not fucking you, I'm fucking the whole frontier. You can even fuck Death Claws. Yes, Death Claws, the monstrous lizards that tear your guts out in every other Fallout game. Now you get up in the Death Claws guts, just jam your Pip-Boy right into their Vault 69. Give them the old Mr. Fisto. Now some of you may be saying that's weird, but Fallout has always been weird. Just look at the original Fallout New Vegas. It lets you have sex with men.